Hey guys, this is Exam Help, and um, today I'm going to go over functions. This is um, the first part of Core 3 for the AQA Maths spec. I'm just going to go over basically what functions are. So, um, first of all, what is a function? Well, if we had, say, something like uh, f of x is equal to um, 3x minus 1. Well, that is a function. And we can draw this on the graph. 3x minus 1 would look something like that, where this point is minus 1, where it crosses the y-axis, and it goes up at a gradient of 3. So the function bit is the f bit. So this can be g of x, h of x, x of x, q of x, usually use the f for anything really, just because um, it stands, for, it's f for function, makes it easier. Um, so what is the uh, domain? We, we use two terms, domain, and then we also use range. So what is the domain and what is the range? Well, basically, Domain is the x values, and range is the y values. So you go back to our 3x minus 1 example here, and uh, our domain, you can see it goes with any x values across here. It'll continue down there and up there, so it'll go across infin in infinitely. And it'll also go up infinitely. So this isn't a great example, but our domain is infinite and our range is also infinite. I'm just going to go over quickly uh, about domain and range. So then, domain and range, um, that can be anything really. So our domain, we'll go, go back to our 3x minus 1. It's a nice example, nice easy example. That's our f of x. So our domain, like I said, it it can be draw it again, any single x value. Where this points minus one, it goes up at a gradient of three. So it can be any x value. So what we say with this is x can be in the subset. So x is a part of the group of real numbers. And we know this from core one is the real number symbol. So any real number. So it can't be an imaginary number, so it's got to be a real number. So then we also said that y can take any value. So you can also say y or f of x can be the subset of the real numbers. How about if we had an x squared? So g of x, is equal to x squared plus 4. Okay, so our x squared graph looks something like that, where that points 4. It's just rough drawing. Okay, so we can see that below 4, there's absolutely nothing. So this line is 4, there is absolutely nothing going down here. So this means that the, the range, the y values, it can't be anything less than 4, but our, our x values can still be real, all real. Because it can continue going on that way, continue going that way, and infinitely, infinitely, okay? But there's nothing below here. So we can say that y must be more than or equal to 4. Or we can say g of x is more than or equal to 4. So it's slightly different for that. Okay, so I'll do another quick example. Um, what can our example be? Well, I'll put question 1. I'll work through these with you. Question 1. f of x is equal to 4x plus 3. What's its domain? What's its range? 
So I'll let you do that quickly. Okay, so I'll work through that. If you've done it before, we can uh, just quickly go through it now. Well, 4x plus 3 looks something like that. Where this point is? Four, uh, 3, sorry. And it goes up at a gradient of 4. So we've seen this very similarly. So I can go up and down in all directions, basically. So therefore, our domain. Let's write domain. What's that? Well, x could take any value, so any real number. And the range is just the same. We put f of x there, and the subset of the real numbers. So what if I had question two, where g of x is equal to x squared minus four. If we had our x squared graph minus four, well, it's just like what we had before with the domain, it can take any real value. So x is in the subset of the real numbers. However, the range, we can see there is no values below the line uh, y equals minus four. So therefore, y cannot take anything below four. So the uh, g of x is anything more than or equal to minus four. So um, we can actually, we can actually give intervals for the domain. So say if we had f of x equals three x plus two, we can see that that would be something like that, where this point is two, um, and we can see that it'll go up continuously, go down continuously. However, we could actually restrict the domain. So we could only give a certain x value. So we could say 3x minus 2, where well, x is between, so it needs to be less than or equal to 4, or more than or equal to minus 3. So we can restrict the domain, so the domain therefore will be just that restriction. Domain is a minus 3x4. And then to work out the range, we've got to see what values these give us. Well minus 3, if we put that into there, minus 3 times 3 is minus 9, plus 2 is minus 7. So this point this point's minus three, this point's four. So this point would be minus seven. F of x. And then if we put four into our equation, four times by three is 12 plus two is 14. So we could put that into there. So we can see that our, our range will be restricted because the domain's been restricted. Okay, now let's look at an x squared graph. g of x is equal to x squared minus 12x plus uh, plus 20. We can see that that will factorize to do minus 10 minus 2 so x equals minus 10 or x equals x equals 10 or x equals 2 so you can see that it crosses at 2 and 10 okay so that's 2 that's 10 okay so what happens with this right well, um, 
if we restrict to the domain, um, then we would have the, uh, so let's say we restrict the domain between zero and four. We, you can see we, I've put more than or equal to zero or less than four. So this would actually affect the, uh, the range values we get. So range, what would this equal? Well, the, uh, if we had four in there, um, if we had four in there, what would, uh, what would that give us? Well, x squared, so 16 minus 12 times by four, which is, 12 times by 4 is 48, so 16 minus 48 is uh, minus 32, plus 20 is minus 12, so minus 12 there. So you can see 4 would be about here, so it wouldn't actually go down to the, the minimum point there. So our range, we can see 0 would be the y-intercept which is just 20. Our range is between 20 and this minus 12 point here. So our range, minus 12, uh, uh, g of x, and 20. You can see that I uh, made a mistake there. That's not actually more than or equal to. It's, it's uh, just more than because when we put this four into the uh, into the equation, it came out this minus twelve, but there's a less than sign there, so it's just the more than sign, not the more than than or equal to sign. So I hope that helped, guys. Um, if you have any questions about that, just feel free to ask, um, and just make sure you do lots of example questions with that, and. Good luck. Thanks for watching, that was exam help.